Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit. But first, let's play r slash drunk or a kid. Inspired by how I met your mother, I give you a real life scenario and you guess whether it was a drunk or a kid. This one was posted by r Amin. Climbed a tree too high and fell out, resulting in an ER visit. But what do we think? Was this a drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. Now back to r slash ask reddit where Sonse Tama posted this. What is something unrealistic that you often see in movies that annoys the hell out of you? Misunderstandings with dire consequences that could easily be cleared up if the protagonist just said something. Anything! I always enjoy watching lab scenes, people looking into microscopes that aren't even turned on or plugged in. No one has gloves on or their hair pulled back. Unrelated formulas scrolled on whiteboards. And always, I mean all fucking ways, if they are in a lab, be it a biology lab, physics, what have you, there will be chemistry glassware too. People doing CPR, then the person who just got CPR wakes up like 10 minutes later and eats lunch. Everybody acting like the heroine is plain. She's wearing glasses and a baggy sweater and a ponytail, but her face is perfect, her teeth are perfect, her skin is perfect, and she hasn't got an ounce of fat anywhere. How bad the villains always are at shooting. Don't get me wrong, Star Wars wouldn't be the same if Luke gets scalped by a stormtrooper 30 minutes into the first movie, but good god are they bad. Someone gets hit so hard that they fly through a wall, then they get up and keep fighting. No, you're going to spend the next year learning to walk again. When two characters do something simple like glancing at each other and then the romance has started. If a man and a woman bump into each other and some music plays, that's enough to ensure the romance has begun. I bump into guys all the time. Where's my boyfriend? Tobias Mason Park thinks he knows where you went wrong. Oftentimes, the person has to be in a hurry, carrying many things. Bonus points if there's at least one full tray of coffee. Already frustrated and when you bump into the guy, you have to sound initially angry, but once you look into his more often than not, dazzling blue eyes, stop mid-sentence. Then the music plays and boyfriend is acquired. Common mistake. High schoolers who look like fucking supermodels. I don't know, there's quite a few stunning looking people at my high school. Calling someone and then instantly start talking. Don't know why exactly, but that has really bothered me. You didn't even let it ring. Casually strolling away from a massive explosion. Everything is always so dark. No one ever bothers to turn the lights on. Even when they do, it's like a 10 watt bulb in a warehouse that only illuminates two feet around it. When people are driving and randomly moving the steering wheel back and forth while also looking solely at the passenger they're talking to and never once at the road. Once I started driving, I realised how sensitive the wheels are and how the tiniest adjustment with steering makes the whole car go side to side. Hurrah for power steering. Hanging up the phone without saying anything at the end of the conversation. Women in historical drama wearing corsets directly against their skins. Back then, clothes were expensive, so people had to wear an additional layer of chemise or shift made from linen that can be frequently washed. It annoys me to no end when sexy scenes show sir dudes just pulling couple strings. Then historical ladies be butt naked in a matter of seconds, while in reality, You'd be needing an appointment and three to five business days before Shorty finishes disrobing. People living in these gigantic New York or LA apartments while working jobs that realistically could never pay for such a nice place. Couples talking and laughing into each other's faces, in bed, in the morning. Nobody opens the door two seconds after the doorbell rings. Nobody! Yo, the nerdy guy gets the hottest, baddest, coolest, funniest girl on earth? I'm still waiting. That's because the movie nerdy guy looks like Andrew Garfield and I'm expected to somehow not believe he wouldn't be the hottest guy in school. Everyone being able to see underwater perfectly with no goggles or anything. When the mum prepares a feast for breakfast, 
and everyone only takes a bite or two before rushing off. My mum would have killed me for wasting food. Also, she wouldn't prepare a feast for breakfast. Pretty much any police detective show. Female detective constantly wearing high heels, which would be uncomfortable alone and very challenging during the inevitable foot chase scene. Immediately, upon discovering evidence at a crime scene, they will pick it up using a loosely held glove or the tip of a pencil. In real life, evidence needs to be documented, photographed before handled, and how lazy are you that you can't properly slip on a glove? Just about everything else forensic-wise. Everyone with loose hair, rarely wearing gloves, every fingerprint or other piece of evidence is relevant to the crime. Crime scene line is like 10 feet from the body, so the public has a great view of everything, and of course, any nearby evidence is destroyed. Every time the cop says that you have to tell me X or I'm going to arrest you for obstruction. I'ma say it. Just casually rolling over after having sex, like no clean up, no awkward run to the toilet. Who are these people? That unsuccessful slob whose wife or girlfriend is played by someone who looks like an underwear model. When people brush their teeth and there's clearly no toothpaste, no spit, no foam, no dribble. Everyone, and I mean everyone in movies, can drink liquor neat. Hot girl has a bad breakup and starts to chug vodka or tequila directly from the bottle. I don't know, I can drink tequila directly from the bottle. Easy. People pour a brown liquor in a glass and just start casually drinking while having a combo. No one ever makes the what the fuck face. Not even a wince. People finding patching up bleeding wounds sexy. Man bleeding from shoulder. Woman looks up shyly at him while cleaning and sewing him up. Suddenly sexy times? There is nothing sexy about first aid. Blood is gross. Playing video games. Randomly smashing all buttons at the same time and pressing R1, L1 and R2, L2 for no reason. As a gamer, I tried to act like I was playing a game and it's really hard. You actually have to put a game on if you want the button strikes to look correct. The family dog or kids are only in 5% of the scenes. I can't get away from mine. How big everyone's wiener is. Oh wait, maybe you're not talking about those movies. The credits. What a cliche! The ending happens, then a black wall of scrolling text shows up to list a bunch of names. Incredibly unrealistic and out of touch. Filmmakers need to realise that walls of text don't just show up out of nowhere once a story comes to an end. Do you have a bugbear when it comes to TV and movies? Let me know in the comments. Now back to r slash drunk or a kid. So who was the person who fell out of a tree? It was a drunk. This was me at 30, just a few months ago, making only the best of decisions. Did you guess right? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you have heard, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss anything from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.